Well, what we've done actually is go out and take a temperature testing survey of our members. We have a large and diverse membership in terms of companies, but we really wanted to get a sense of how businesses are feeling about the new national security law. First of all, there is a small minority who feel much better because the streets, as you say, are quieter and they feel they are safer there. But the majority of those who answered our survey were concerned or extremely concerned about the national security law. So what it's showing us is that the new normal in Hong Kong is not so normal. And there are a lot of question marks out there as far as businesses are concerned. So with those concerns, do you expect that many of the businesses, uh, the U.S. Uh, residents in Hong Kong now, I think there's something like 1,300 U.S. companies operating in the city, do you expect them to leave? That's right. We have 85,000 Americans living in Hong Kong and over 1,000 businesses, big businesses in Hong Kong. Nobody wants to leave, but there are some question marks now that are arising as a result of the national security law. And what makes people most uncomfortable, as this survey is telling us, is they really would like to hear some answers. It's the ambiguity that is making people worried. So they're worried about rule of law and whether that will actually continue to exist the way it has under one country, two systems. They're worried very much as well, particularly the American community, about this idea of foreign interference and where does that leave uh, the U.S. community as well as what might come from the U.S. reaction to this national security law. There's also also a lot of worry about extraterritoriality and some of the aspects and articles of that law have really caused some concern. People would like to have some basic answers about the implementation. They don't feel they're getting that at all. Hi Tara, it's Matt here joining the conversation as well. Another part of your survey, uh, businesses were asked how will the national security law affect your business and more than 50% in fact said there would be no impact or a positive impact. So are we perhaps overstating the impact of the national security law then? It's really hard to say um, because like you say quite rightly, people aren't planning to leave Hong Kong now. There's no running for the exit, so to speak. Um, we're already in a difficult financial situation due to COVID and recession, so it's hard to make judgments about how money is going to be made. Um, there are other areas in Asia where companies can make money. But I think the main theme here, again, is about the ambiguity and the need for some answers and worry, actually, about the actual implementation of the the law. Uh, once we start to see it enacted or rolled out or explained, um, that could go a long way toward making people a lot more comfortable. But yes, business goes on. Um, I'm sure people are commuting to work as normal today uh, during the hot summer months, etc. It's just that underneath the surface, there are a lot of concerns.